support. No, I still please. First record rundown of December as we slowly wrap up 2023. This will be for the week of December 2nd, 2023. On this day of music back in 1822, Franz Liszt would have his public debut at only age 11 in the Lanschten Saal in Vienna. After the concert, he actually got a chance to meet both Schubert and Beethoven. <laughs> Was worried we were actually gonna get our first Christmas album, but nope, the 20th anniversary edition of Josh Groban's 2003 album Closer, his second studio album. The anniversary edition adds six additional tracks, four new songs, an extended version of You Raise Me Up, and a vocal and piano version of Broken Vow. Don't mean a thing if it ain't that swing. It has to be only a matter of time now. Loive still holding it, but at number five, the other four being all Christmas albums. Singing. Number 49, from the legend herself, Dolly Parton. After being nominated to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2022, she wanted to initially decline it, saying that she was a country artist, not a rock artist. Well, now she has a rock album. Collaborative album between 2 Chains and Lil Wayne, also a sequel album to 2 Chains' third album, Collagrove, back in 2016. That was originally also supposed to have Lil Wayne on it, but he could not be co-credited due to some label issues. <laughs> At this point, I'm just wondering if we're actually gonna get any more dancer and electronic albums for 2023. And now I need some help from the maestro, please! I know that last night we let the liquor talk. I can't remember everything we said. I've already accepted the fact that we're probably gonna go into 2024 still talking about this album. <laughs> Following up Dark Blood, which was just released in May, we now have the fifth EP from Enhypen, Orange Blood. Note that if you get the digital version of this, you'll get an additional version of Sweet Venom, which features Bella Porch. I'm a rock star. They say if you can dream it, you can have it. Dolly Parton has a lot of high-profile features on this, like Sting, Chris Stapleton, Miley Cyrus, Lizzo, Brandi Carlile, Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr, Pat Benatar, Elton John. Baby, was it over then? Is it over now? With only two Big Machine albums left, Taylor Swift is gonna have them all done sometime next year, and I guess at that point we're only gonna have to listen to her new material. You broke my heart, I had my doubts about you from the start, push it in, like Normally he would've just done a Scary Hours 3, but now we have the Scary Hours edition of For All The Dogs. Obviously having all the tracks from For All The Dogs, but it gives you six more to listen through. One of them even features J. Cole. And there you have it, the beginning of the end for Record Rundown in 2023 before we go into the following year. Also, I released a new pop analysis yesterday. You should go watch that. And now I need some help out of my stove, please! My stove!